COVID update, the pandemic information forever changing. And remember when it first started out, free range organic antibodies, 90 days tops. Remember that? Then it was said, well, maybe six months. Well, you know what? We've got people that have antibodies up to a year. Uh, now, we'll see. Rick, again, we're wonderful made creatures mm-hmm. um, and very complicated, mm-hmm. and that's why we don't understand everything that goes on. Mm-hmm. But let's take good news for what it is, good news, okay? Mm-hmm. U.S. researchers have found that people who had mild illness due to COVID-19 go on to develop antibody-producing immune cells that can last for a lifetime. Hello. Lifetime. Now, I don't know how you test that since people have only had it maybe now for a year that and a half. That sounds like stretch. It is a stretch because uh, how do you know? But let's... let's right? small sample to go let's, with. Let's, let's just take but it on face value. The fact that and it may be assault. possible is yeah. positive. Yeah. Now, uh, again, this is not some conservative uh, publication. This is not Donald Trump saying this. Well, this straight is, out of Wuhan. This is <laughs> Yahoo <laughs> News, and they're saying recent. Now, it will Yahoo. be it will be interesting to see how much coverage this gets on national media today. Okay, not, probably not a lot. Researchers at Washington University in St. Louis found that a that during a viral infection, antibody producing immune cells rapidly multiply and circulate in the blood driving antibody level sky high. That's how we fight viruses, right? Once the infection is resolved, most such cells die off and the blood antibody level drops. We know that. However, a small population of antibody producing cells called long-lived plasma cells migrate to the bone marrow and settle in to the bone where they continually secrete low levels of antibody into the bloodstream to help guard against another encounter with the virus. So we it, found that antibody producing cells in people 11 months after their first symptoms, these cells will live and produce antibodies for the rest of their life. So let me ask you this again, right. fellow free range organic antibody person. Mm-hmm. Is this that scenario you keep using about the filing cabinet? Yes, this is the filing is cabinet. Is this the filing cabinet? This is the Will filing you explain cabinet. to the audience, because what you just read right there is a little hard to follow if you're somebody like me that can't pay attention. Talk about the filing cabinet, because well, I, I remember the filing cabinet. We all had to, to get a new lesson in biology as all this happened, yeah. right? We all yeah. tried to get And it'll be forever changing. And uh, you, when, when you have a viral infection, we'll say COVID-19, your body produces antibodies to go out and fight it, okay? Mm-hmm. And, and it, it takes it a day or two to get up to speed, but they go out there and they fight and, uh, and hopefully overcome the virus, eventually killing it off. And, and then the antibodies are still on guard. Well, over time, the antibodies will begin to, to fade away and eventually get at a level that we considered too low to detect. But the body, in, in its wonderful way that it's made, never forgets that virus and basically puts a copy of it in the filing cabinet so that the next time you're exposed to it, it goes, hey, wait a minute. We, we, got, we remember this. We got a copy of this here in the filing cabinet. Hey, boys, make some more antibodies. Whoop, there go the antibodies how do they? How do they sound? Hey, boys. Whoop. They just that, that, go everywhere. That's again. how they go. They, they cut them in. So, you know, our body's so wonderful, it can't carry everything that it needs all the time. Just like replacement parts. It can't carry skin. It can't carry liver. It can't carry heart. It can't carry blood. But what it does is it carries cells that can be made into any of those, which is really magnificent if yeah. you think about it. Yeah. It's the ultimate 3D printer if you think about it that sure. way. Sure. Got it. So... What they're saying is that this filing cabinet procedure that I'm talking about, they have shown it to be real in the COVID world. And the fact that while they put it in the filing cabinet and they call the soldiers off, they still keep a battalion combing the neighborhood to be sure nobody's come back. Now, let me walk further with this. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Yeah. So what this research is, research is showing us, tell me if I'm wrong, which you know certainly there's a very high probability, that we may test you with the blood test and say, you know, we don't see the antibodies anymore. But what you don't realize is they're still in the filing cabinet. They're starting to see evidence of the filing cabinet. Yeah, but if it came back, 
those antibodies would be pulled out of the filing cabinet and they'd start fighting again because this is no longer a novel virus to your body. Right. It's not novel to us anymore. We've seen it. Is that right? That, that's right. And, and it was a small study group, but here is the thing. They went in and sampled bone marrow from several of the people in this study mm. and found anti, antibody-producing cells that were specifically generated to attack COVID-19. Such cells could still be found four months later in five of the people that they tested and provided a second bone marrow sample. So they know for a fact that these type cells that are found in the, mo- in the bone marrow actually live for the life of the person. So what they're saying is we found you in a place that we already have researched. This means lifelong. Rick, they, have went in, right? Rick, they went in and tapped the filing cabinet and found the plans to kill COVID-19 in their bone marrow. That's basically what they're saying. And, and we know this filing cabinet is something your body keeps for a lifetime. Yes. Rick and Bob, Rick and Bob.